welcome back. So well, now we know Daiso is Daijobu. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Mm. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> They're doing well for the most part, mm. right? In the article, as we found out, Daiso has everything. When you have your shopping list, whatever you need, maybe you need some pots, some pans, a hard boiled egg cutter, a toy for your pet, a candle, lashes, makeup, Vaseline, a hot <laughs> pack. It has everything. So many people go to, the, to Daiso because it's very convenient and also very cheap. But despite everything that Daiso has to offer, some Koreans have been steering clear of it. So Korea and Japan have had good relations so far. However, when tensions start to rise, Koreans tend to boycott Japanese you know, products or companies or businesses, right? And it actually goes much deeper and it's much more complex than most Koreans know. Mm. Uh, originally, they believe that Daiso is a Japanese-owned company, but that's not the truth. That's mm. not the whole truth. I didn't know that either. I well, thought that that was the case too. <laughs> right. And did you know that Daiso actually was called Asco Even Plaza? Asco Even Plaza. It's got a nice little ring to oh, it. <laughs> a bit long. <laughs> <laughs> when Japan started seeing that it was doing so well, they started buying some stocks and some mm. equity in it. Mm. And they wanted to, you know, make some money off of this billion dollar yeah. company. Their one condition was that they changed the name to Daiso. And so I guess that's where all the Koreans believe that Daiso is a Japanese company. Mm. Um, however, that's not the case, but many Koreans already have that in their mind. So the parent company to Daiso uh, took great pain, took, took pains <laughs> to make sure that they could buy uh, 80 84%, own 84% mm. of the equity and make it by any measure a Korean company. Yeah, but it truly is. It's not really a Japanese company right. at all. Right, right. So we don't know what the future will be for Daiso, if it will continue <laughs> <laughs> under the name of Daiso. Daiso actually okay. means <laughs> big warehouse in, in, in Japanese. Mm. So maybe some things that they're throwing around, if they might change the name to Daechang, mm. the, the equivalent in Korean, mm. or keep the name Daiso, but change it to Daiso. Mm. That one's my personal favorite. Right. I think it's so smart. Yeah. So and obviously Daiso means they have everything, which is the exact the business truth. model. <laughs> right. The exact business model of Daiso. They really mm. do have everything. Mm. If I, whenever I think I need something, that's the first thing. Like, oh, where should I go? Daiso. Paiso. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it has everything that we need. So what types of gadgets do you frequently uh, use around your home? Mm. I think I've actually purchased many from Daiso and I have to recommend the quality of them. Mm -hmm. I have some lint, lint rollers for oh. lint removing yeah, from probably, your clothes that I, I have probably from need Daiso. That. <laughs> Uh, in a day where, or in the days where we're trying to be more environmentally friendly, I use that to like make my clothes look nice and new and shiny mm -hmm. again. I also have a lot of audio gadgets from Daiso. Actually, oh, really? I have some speakers, little mini speakers that I use, some like SD cards as well. Daiso is the best, really. Right. Mm. How about you? Do you have anything that you use around your house? Um, so a lot of things. I have a lot of gadgets that I buy from Daiso and. Especially like the cords to, ah, you know, for charging. Yeah. Lose them, you lend them, you leave them somewhere. And snap them. <laughs> yeah, snap them, yeah. And also decorations, especially for holidays, I will buy the decorations there. And because they are cheap, I don't feel that bad if they get you know, broken or I have to replace them every holiday. Mm. Do you often get excited about products and buy them only to fail to use them later? And if so, like, what are some things that you usually do this with? Mm. Unfortunately, I am a chronic shopaholic, I think. I am always buying things, <laughs> maybe that I shouldn't, uh, <laughs> to try to maybe keep up with the hip and happening trends mm -hmm. and things like that. So I have a tendency to buy things that I don't use, mainly clothes, mm. kitchenware. I also have a habit of buying too many like Tupperware boxes and then oh, never right. getting around to using them or discovering chopsticks that I bought and that I never <laughs> used them because I 
preferred using something else. Mm -hmm. um, but for the most part, I think I always try to get use out of something. Or if I do find at least something, once. yeah, at least once. Or yeah. if I find that I haven't used something, I will gladly offer it to a friend, being like, "Hey, do you need this thing?" So it doesn't go to waste. So mm. I don't feel so bad. How about you? For me, it's stationary. Ah, <laughs> I love to collect <laughs> pens, and mm -hmm. I use them once, and I say, "I'm going to make a diary and use these notebooks." No. They never get used, and I, I have a, just a stash of them. So. Uh, I definitely have the same problem of you, mm. as you. Yeah. I have bought notebooks in the past and just deemed them too pretty to use. So right. they have no writing in them either. Right, and there will be more because there's always something that dies. There's always so. something cute to buy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> You guys, I hope you enjoyed this article. Don't forget to review your vocabulary, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Epiphany. Epiphany. Boycott. Boycott. Out of pocket. Out of pocket. Take pains. Take pains. Equity stake. Equity stake. <laughs>